that free men stood against a tyrant, that few stood against many. Hello, welcome back. This is the next test that I'm going to be running. Is the uh, recovery during day operations in the CVN 71 Theodore Roosevelt. Um, I did have a small change. The uh, custom uh, render scale, I increased it to uh, 100. So it's now 100. I think it was 70 or 80 on the last video. I can't remember, but that's what it is now. Everything else is the same. Uh, I updated this, I think. I don't know if it was updated. I think it was updated in the last video. 11.4 1, 1 active. And there was an update on the open composite. Uh, it is up to there right now. So that's the small change. And I'll show you the other change inside the game when I launch it. So see you in a bit when I launch the game. Okay, here I am again inside the game. And uh, the only change that uh, I did was the. Uh, the heat blur. Not because of affects the game, but because uh, it's just a personal, personal uh, reference, uh, preference. Uh, it's just it doesn't look right to me, so I turn it off. The frames per second are the same whether it is low or high, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, everything else is uh, high, high, high. And uh, the other thing I notice is that the uh, clouds are ultra but the mission that I did before had clear skies so there was no sh uh, no clouds so the frames went down to from 31 to 20 because of activated uh, weather in the mission so uh, you'll see when I start the mission and the pi pixel density stays the same at 1.0 so that's all I got. That's all the change. And uh, I'll see you when I launch the mission. All right. So this is what I have now. Uh, the size went to 70. Everything else still the same. Appearance, uh, inputs. And the system is the same as it was before. So I'm just going to go back to show you inputs, appearance, and performance. Just 70%. Alright, so here we are. I'm going towards the carrier about 10 nautical miles away. Uh, this external view is okay. The internal is pretty good. A um, little wobbly. Zero zero and seven. See you at ten. Update state switch tower. Zero zero and seven. Low state four point nine. A little wobbly, but it's okay. Let's see while we turn in. Yeah, it looks better, I guess. Less stressful. Uh, you can see the sky that I added, uh, scatter number two. So the frames per second here are, you can see they're 30, but uh, see now they're 24, 20, 27. So here they're okay, but as soon as I get to the carrier, they will go down to 20 and stay around 20, 21. Water's pretty good. Uh, let's try to get the radio again. Tower zero zero and seven. Overhead angels one. Holding hands with three zero and seven. Low state four point seven. Okay, let me fix the screens. Zero zero ten. Tower Roger. BRC three five three. Saint Louis Charlotte. Zero zero and seven. All right. Yeah, I was trying to hit the radio and I hit the. Uh, air to air switch so the mirrors uh, the mirrors have the the thing that low frames per second on the mirrors again 
Um, everything else is pretty the same as it was before. Uh, a little wobbly when you move around, but yeah, most of the mirror. So the carrier uh, looks pretty solid. Uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of wobbling, but. The wings look solid when you look at the sky, but yeah, when it hits the water, like before, uh, they have that starter. Uh, but still, the cockpit looks pretty good most of the time. So let me get this guy on deck. And I'll let you enjoy the approach. That flickering on the side, the black lines on the side, you don't see them on the headset, it's just the camera captures them. The field of view is a lot smaller inside the headset than with the camera. The camera captured those, so you don't see those. Uh, frames per second still good, but you see now they're 20. Even though, it, even though it's just 20, it's still pretty, pretty smooth. Water looks good, smooth. Still 20 frames per second. wobble there on landing. And then turn it in. Tower everything is pretty looks pretty good. Mm, good looks good outside. A little see a little starter in the front. And the hard yeah, then the info, the data on the hard is uh, as slow frames per second. I can see it stutter a little bit. See the wingman. Yeah, here it comes. It looks smooth. Yeah. Pretty solid. Consistent, continuous. So now let's go check out some uh, external views, see how they look. So 30 frames per second. This is about 800 feet, 850. You can see a little bit of wobbling on the on the cockpit, on the glass. But the wingman looks pretty solid. Now in this view. A little bit of starter on the wingtips and the missiles. The aims very minor. Carrier is pretty smooth. Now the brake. Yeah, it looks okay. And 
the shadow of the sun looks pretty smooth. Now let's go to an uh, external view all the way in from the cockpit. Water looks good, smooth. I don't see any wobbling on the edges of the carpet yet. Pretty good. Let's see here. Yeah, the nose. The nose wobbles when you touch the deck. See how it does taxiing. Yeah, the HUD. Keep your eyes on the HUD. Personnel outside. Uh, water looks okay. Yeah, the HUD. The HUD wobbles when it's on front of the water. But it looks pretty smooth on deck. Alright, I think that's it. This is the final test on the daytime. Uh, we'll do a night test. Uh, the same as before. Uh, we'll do launching aircraft and recovering aircraft. So it's pretty good, it's just the wobble. It's annoying sometimes, but it's way better than Steam VR so far. So that's it. I hope this helps and fly safe.